Hey YouTube, it's Joel here again, and next year I'm going to be attending California State Polytechnic University of Pomona. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be studying animal science, and one cool thing is they have the longest running Arabian horse program in the U.S. So I thought it'd be cool to feature their newest member. The horse is named Amora, and I thought this would be a cool opportunity for me to practice on horses because I've never drawn a horse, and I think it would be cool to do for like commissions maybe in the future. So yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, so I've already pre-drawn the grid lines using this ruler that I have and I'm going to be bringing over this setup that I use so that I could make a time lapse and you guys can see how I draw it. So let's do this. Alright, so I first start off with the sketch and the reference photo I'm using I actually got from the Instagram page of Cal Poly Pomona. As you can see here, this is Amora. And I like to use grid lines because I just feel like it helps me make the drawing more accurate. Basically, I'm just drawing all the shapes and lines that I see, trying to make it anatomically accurate. And I forgot to mention, I'm actually using bristle board paper. So this isn't like sketching paper or colored pencil paper. So now I finally brought out the colors. I'm first starting off at the top with black and some brown. So the darker brown is actually sepia and the other brown is dark brown. And I'm using 30% French gray to make it look a little bit more smoother for some parts. And to get that sort of reddish coloration, I use Sienna Brown and a touch of Terracotta. And I basically use this for the entire body of the horse.
as soon as I thought I was finished with this piece, I woke up to pencil marks on the drawing that my nephew had left. So I had to try to remove this. I first started off by erasing it, then going over it in white to try to blend it. And then using some markers and pens, I tried to go over it in white. And then I just went over the entire background with white just to make it look more uh, blended. But yeah, so this was basically the final piece. You can't really see the pencil mark. Uh, here it is next to the reference photo. As you can see, I sort of made it more reddish. But in a different room with like a darker uh, light area, it looks a little bit more accurate. And I think it came out pretty well. So yeah guys, I think I did a pretty good job considering this is my first time drawing a horse. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.